I created this video with the best of intentions. I wanted to put an XLR microphone up against a USB microphone to prove that nowadays you don't need an XLR microphone. You don't need to spend all the money, the extra expense, because the audio you can achieve from a USB microphone like you're listening to right now is so much easier than it was maybe in the past. Unfortunately, I was let down, which you will hear in this video. I did think about not putting it up at all, not putting this video on YouTube, but I thought, what the hell? Hello, glad you could make it. I really am pleased to see you. In this video, right, I want to talk about microphones, XLR microphones and USB microphones. Do you really need an XLR microphone for YouTube? Because I think USB technology is just as good as XLR. And that's coming from somebody who has been an XLR microphone snob for the last three or four years. I swore to myself that to get the best audio that you had to buy an XLR microphone. And then along with that, you need to get an audio interface. And I had a Rodecaster Pro for a couple of years. And I've also had before that a Moto M2 audio interface. That's an extra expense, but... And it was all going so well. But here is where I make my fatal mistake. Do you need to spend that extra money or could you just get something like this, which is a USB microphone, but it's also an XLR microphone if you want to try something a little bit different and go with the purists. Go with the purists who definitely say that you must need an XLR microphone, XLR setup, an analog setup for the best audio for YouTube. Well, we're going to test that out with this microphone, which is uh, the Myono. I don't know. Is it Myono? Myono? I'm really sorry for pronouncing names. It's the PD200X microphone. It's a very attractive looking microphone. I'm going to try it out. I'm just going to take it out of the box and we're going to see how, the, how, this, how it compares really between USB and XLR mode. I think it'll be interesting. I personally believe that you don't need an XLR anymore. That's just me. And... For all the purists that are going to turn around and say that I'm an absolute idiot, I'm not suggesting that USB is better than XLR. I'm just saying that do you really need to spend the extra money on XLR, on the audio interface, where you've got things like Rode Connect, which I'm actually recording on right now. I'm using a USB microphone up there, putting it through Rode Connect, and it still gives you all the kind of bells and whistles, the compressor, the big bottom, the oral exciter, the kind of things that you'd get off your Rodecaster Pro, but without the expense, because it's a brand new free, well, it's not brand new, it's a free app. Don't know where brand new came from. Getting all excited here. Let's have a look at this microphone. Okay, straight out of the box, yeah, you get the microphone. It's actually quite quite a light microphone, this, but it does come with its own shock mount already attached, which is pretty cool. So you can set it up onto a boom arm and it'll look pretty, pretty sweet, I reckon. Pretty sweet. It's got the kind of Shura SM7B vibes with this. Okay, so what we've got here, we've got a mute button straight off the bat there. You've got a volume button, which should be gain, and you've also got a monitoring button or a monitoring slider for your headphones. So it looks as if you'll be able to monitor your headphones here. On the back, you've got USB-C, which is obviously a USB. Uh, you've also got, well, there you go. We have got, I don't know if you can see that there. Uh, you've got a headphone jack there as well. So you can monitor your audio and an XLR port if you want to use the XLR. Let's hear what it sounds like. So here we are. We're now talking to the Miono PDX200. So far, so good, yeah. Don't worry. It'll all come clear soon enough. No, the PD200X. I can never, ever remember uh, what uh, microphones are called. Cracking name for a microphone, though. Right, the first thing that I've noticed with this is you probably have to get really up close uh, to the microphone. If you're kind of off it a little bit, I think it will sound a little bit distant. I'm not monitoring, so I don't know. But anyway, this is the kind of way you'd want to speak into one of these microphones anyway. So 
how does it sound? How does it sound? Does it sound better than the mic that I was having earlier on? Uh, it'll probably sound a little bit different, I'd imagine. But here we are. This is the USB functionality of this microphone. And while I'm talking into it, I may as well look at the fact that this lights up on USB function. I believe it doesn't work that way when you're using the XLR and needs that bit of power uh, for it to for it to light up. But it looked pretty good if you're streaming, uh, if you're doing some gaming with the lights up. I think it looked pretty good. Okay, so we have got a volume button here. We could monitor. I'm not monitoring right now. Uh, we've got a mute button. How well does a mute button work? It is working. There we go, because I didn't see anything on the waveforms. I'm recording right now, and I can see what is recording. Right, so enough of me chitty-chatting. Let's go on with the XLR comparison. And this is where it all goes horribly, horribly wrong. I couldn't hear it. I didn't know. Right, so here we are now talking into this microphone XLR style. Uh, whether you'll hear a difference, I'm really, really interested to hear. Okay, a little context. XLR microphones do not sound like this. The worst XLR microphone I have ever used in all of my life. And I've tried a few. I've tried a lot. This is why this was the worst decision I could ever have made using this particular microphone. Uh, from you. And also here myself, because uh, I'll be monitoring this when I go to edit it. Oh my God, can I speak? Right. <laughs> no. But you'll hear all the ifs, buts, and maybes and things because that's what happens when you talk into a microphone and you aren't really being like a DJ and you'd really know what you're talking about. I really don't know what I'm talking about right now. This is a lot of rubbish. But anyway, you get the idea of what this actually sounds like. It's an XLR microphone. If you notice that there's no lights uh, lit up, so there we go. That's the reason that we talked about before. This, this, however, I think needs a lot of gain. I plugged it into my audio interface, which is the Miono audio interface, by the way, um, and uh, it couldn't handle it. Uh, it was maxed out, basically. So, uh, Miono, your this isn't powerful enough to drive one of your own microphones. Just thought I'd let you know about that. Disappointing. So I had to use my uh, my little um, what do you call it? A dynamite, so it's a preamp, so I've had to boost it. A little bit disappointing that, really disappointed in my own for that, because uh, if you're going to release a product, at least make it work with your own product. So, yeah, there we go. That's just what I'm saying. Uh, as I said, I've now got it at roughly about halfway in terms of gain, but without it, uh, I've, I'm, I'm going to let you hear it, because this is uh, my, I'm using the Monocaster, and I don't think it can run its own mic. So let's see if it does. Okay, now you're listening to this microphone. Wow. Right, okay, that, that tells you everything. I've got it halfway and you can't hear a thing. Now it's at full, you can hear me. Yeah, you can definitely hear me now. I've maxed it out. This is it completely maxed out. This reminds me of the Shure SM7B, how much power you actually need for this. This tells me a lot. In fact, probably got it a bit too high, but generally I've got it completely maxed out. It's about 95% gain, and I'm at the where I need to be in terms of levels. So, this mic, if you're going to use it XLR style, needs a lot of power. Needs a lot of power. This is roughly the same as the Shure SM7B. Bit disappointed than that. So, let's go back to USB style. And now we're back to the USB style. So you'll get the idea of what is better, what is worse, uh, because we're going through YouTube as well, by the way, so we're not, this is a YouTube microphone. This isn't for doing something in a studio. No, this is neither. This is a USB microphone that tries to be an XLR microphone, but fails miserably. So remember, once you record it, then you might do some processing. Let's do some processing on it now. So this is it now processed and uh, well, this is what you could be doing, using or sounding like on your live stream. Remember, it's going to go onto YouTube, so it's then going to get processed and compressed and everything else. So, 
yeah, uh, bear that in mind. So is it worth spending the extra? No, no, it's not.